Hello, hello, hello. It's Attorney Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago. As usual, we've got ourselves a nice, lazy Sunday stream. I've got my cup of coffee here. I've got a, I, I've got a couple of people to thank. Mikhail sent, sent me a big one, and so did people in court. I don't know if we'll get that far. We shall see. Let's get it started, shall we? Court charge of false report and perjury. You understand the charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, Mr. Bowens? Yes. All right. Based on, based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you have an attorney now. Any question about that? Excuse me. He gave me an attorney on this case. Yes. I didn't give. I mean, I, I'm more presented. An opportunity. No, I'll have a question about it. the services of the public defender's office. Deputy Criminal History, Mr. Bowens, Jr. This is added charge. He's always already held on the VLP. All right, 2500 on the false report, 1000 on the perjury, not in an official proceeding. Court date is April 8th at one o'clock. Good luck, sir. That's in front of Judge Grammar. Step to your right to the T. When the green light comes on, sign. <laughs> Name, sir. My name is Steve Sine. Do you think Steve Grammar's going to get nicer as the end draws near, or do we think it's going to get worse? It could go one of two ways. Look, Joe Turner is not going to say anything. He is smiling. Look at him, smiling silently. Look at him. I admire that so much. Mr. Barger, you're here. Your attorney is here also. Mr. Turner is with us by video. You're before the court charged with battery on a person over the age of 65. Do you understand that charge, sir? I do, sir. All right, Mr. Turner, what would you like to tell me? Uh, Judge, he, he lives here. He's retired. He uh, owns property here. His wife lives here. He's being held on a misdemeanor VOP warrant for based on this conduct. This has been waived up from county court, uh, so he's just being arrested on this today. If you'd set a bond for us, I'd, I'd appreciate that so we can start getting credit and things like that, but we've got to resolve the misdemeanor VOP first. Yes, sir. 5000 on the battery charge. Court date's going to be April 25th at 9 o'clock. No contact with the alleged victim. Good luck, Mr. Barger. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Thank you, Judge. I will see you this afternoon, Mr. Barger. Right the Step on the T. When the light comes on, sign. Got him. You got her moved up already? Yeah. Hey, Jill. Hey, Jill. Here you go, sir. Say your name. Uh, Quarren Kilpatrick. Mr. Kilpatrick, before the court charge, Burger identified dwelling or structure while. Well, Armed, you understand the charge, sir? You understand the charge? Not really. Well, they say they tried to break into a allegedly a, an individual's bedroom window with a bat. Yeah, that was, that was my girlfriend. I live there. She didn't even press charges. Y'all picked up the charges. That's why I'm here. But she didn't even press charges. I, I I really didn't have anything to do with that. Right. <laughs> Love. Exciting and new. Well, I want to, um, I want what they call speedy trial or what they call that. <laughs> like in 30 days. I, I want to go ahead and do a speedy trial, bro. Okay, bro. Sir, you want a, I want a speedy trial, bro? I haven't seen this. This, this is already fun. Attorney? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get my brother to hire me a lawyer. I don't want no um, public defender. I'm going to hire a lawyer. I'm going to try to I'll hire see. a lawyer. Great. Deputy, she ahead. dropped the charges, so she ain't going to be there. It'll just be me and y'all in the courtroom. Well, it's not going to be but me. she ain't going to be there. Sir? You keep oh, okay. saying me. I'm not going to be there. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have a dog in this fight. It's not going on my docket. I didn't pick up the charges. I just got handed the paperwork. Yes, sir. Deputy, criminal history? Nothing since 2000. Bond set at 50,000, no contact with the alleged victim. Court date's going to be May 20th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Well, I got to go sit in the jail. You got a bond. I got a bond. How much is it? 50. What do I mean? 500? Between you and the bond and whatever y'all come up with. Okay. Step to your right to the T. <laughs> <laughs> All right, state your uh, next. Saliva, well, ladies and gentlemen, 
Welcome to the show. Where are you? Mr. Minnick, how you doing, sir? Good, sir. How are you? I'm well. You're for the court on a violation of probation for original possession of cocaine and other charges out of a Scambia County. You understand uh, that, sir? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Minnick. Scambia County requested the under your presence on the for Scambia County. Ask the Bay County Sheriff's Office to support your here as quickly as possible. Your return date is going to be April the 26th. If you haven't already been transported before then. Good luck, well, sir. Thank you, sir. Step to your right to the T. Next. Turkeys are gobbling as we speak. Right next. Cooler warnings have got them up moving. But here I am. Mr. Year out. Yes, sir. All right, sir. You're for the court charged with a violation of probation out of Brevard County. Judge Atkins down there has been kind enough to put a $10,000 bond. Can you make that? No, sir. Okay, well, then we will coordinate your transport back down there to get this behind you as quickly as possible. Return date is going to be April the 26th. If you're still here, we'll check in and make sure they're really going to come get you. What do you mean return date? That's if they don't pick you up. They got to tell us why. Mm -hmm. On what day was that? April 26th. Okay. All right. Step to your right to the T. When the green light comes on, sign. Next. Next. Red X. State your name. Uh, James Matthew Fogel. And your Mr. honor. You understand why you're here? Uh, yes, I understand. All right. Jillian, you represent Mr. Fogel? Yes, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Fogel um, has just been accepted um, to Veterans Court and is needing some additional treatment. Um, he's a local. He has significant ties. He, he works at the Navy base. Um, we anticipate him going to an inpatient program, so we would request that um, he's released on his own recognizance. We will be representing him on this case. And I have spoken to the prosecutor um, regarding this and it doesn't sound there's any objection to a re releasing him on his own recognizance if your honor is agreeable about the don't we have a new charge too another new charge the, there's that, a uh, possession of cocaine the, that's tagged on yeah somewhere. there's two cocaine and a paraphernalia with the dui uh, your honor i was not aware of those those are not on the Clerk's website. They're telling them they're, telling they're going to have to bring him back tomorrow on those. Um, well, Your Honor, in that case, we'd ask for a, a reasonable monetary bond. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's do a. I mean, I'm just going to put a thousand on the DUI. His court date is going to be April the eighth at one o'clock. But they're going to bring him back tomorrow on the new on the cocaine and paraphernalia because I don't have the paperwork, but they. Maybe they found something in the car after they booked him in. I don't know. I, I, now you know as much as I do, Jillian. So don't use it against me because you. I'm sure if you take what I know with what you know without telling me what you know, then now you know more than I do. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Have a Mr. good Fogel, We'll see you tomorrow. What the hell's wrong with him? <laughs> Step to your right. That's logic. And logic's dangerous. Terry, you caught that? That logic's dangerous? Judge, judge, man. Secondary. Next. But I think that's what they're trying to get him on Veterans Court for. He knows. Red X, state your name. James, that makes sense. You're making your full court charge trespass. You understand that charge? Yes, sir. All right, ma'am. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? It's not good when my phone starts blowing up when I'm on the bench. Makes me wonder what's going on out there. All right, ma'am. Based on your application, I find you do qualify for the service of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representing you. Any question about that? Okay. 
Deputy Criminal History. Should that um, trespass last month? I had two in 23 with the FTA on one, and she has an open NTA on another trespass. Bonds 2500, court dates April 8th at one o'clock. No contact with the alleged victim. Good luck now. Step to your right to the T. When the light comes on, sign. Red X, ma'am, state your name. Say your name. Ms. Corn, you're for the court charge of disorderly intoxication. You understand that charge? Um, um, I was just, um, yes. Okay. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, ma'am? Yes, I have some stuff right here. Okay. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender represent you. So you have an attorney now. Any question about that? Yes. Yes, you have a question or yes, you understand? Oh, no. Is this the same one that was crying the other day? I thought it was for laying on the ground. It's probably for laying on the ground, being not cooperative and any number of other things. But yes, that's probably pretty much it. Generalized Karen-esque behavior. All right. Deputy, criminal history. She was just placed on probation for a possession of meth. Based on amount. 23, 1432, CF. All right, Ms. Porn, on the disorderly intoxication, bonds 1,000. Court date's going to be Monday, April the 8th at 1 o'clock in front of Judge Grammer. I'm signing a warrant for violation of probation 23432. Good luck to you, ma'am. Thank you. Step to your right to the T. Next. Six doesn't even. Red X, ma'am. Face the TV. State your name. This case, you're for the court charged driving under the influence with damage to pro property or persons. You understand that charge? I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true, Ms. Case? Yes, sir. You've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? I'm sorry? You're going to, you're going to hire another attorney or represent yourself? I guess hire another attorney. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're, it's, it's being indicated that you might need to apply for a public defender. Okay. All right. Jeffy, criminal history? No history. Now they got a charge with a misdemeanor. Depending on how bad the other person was hurt. But I, I actually have a question. Um, it says that right here that I, I was a single vehicle traffic crash, but how come on here it says that I do I damage to property or, or of another person? I don't but, know. That's what, that's what I'm looking at that too. Yeah, that was just my confusion. Did you hit a fence? Allegedly. Allegedly. That would be, that would be the property of somebody else. Okay, so, I'm so, sorry. I, but I see where it's it's checked injury too. So yeah, I I, I'm, I was concerned. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was my confusion. No, I get it. I... Hmm. Yeah, you're going down. One seven, one five three, one five six. She's 23. She's not a mod. Well, okay, but we got to go to Monday afternoon. They'll, they'll transport back and forth. Perfect. All right, I'm going to release you on what's All called right. pre trial release. Okay. He reports the pre trial release office after court Monday afternoon. That way, they you are. Bring her this is one time. So. All right.
Your court is one o'clock. April well, eight. April eight. Yeah. Yeah. No alcohol while you're on pre-trial release. None whatsoever. Okay, listen to me. Listen yes, to me. Sir. You got Judge Grammar. If you violate the terms of your pre-trial release, he's gonna hold you without bond. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Step to your right to the T. Step to the T. Gotta go. Call the jail and ask you. Ms. Lipscomb, before the court charted driving license spender revoked and false report to a law enforcement officer. Do you understand those charges? Hold on. This is for Jordani. Oh. That's not a woman. I am sorry. I was just going by the paperwork. Jordani, you're still in your own. This is just Morales. Uh, Senor Morales. Mr. Morales, before the court charted operating a motor vehicle without a driver's license. Señor Morales está frente al juez acusado de operar un vehículo motorizado sin licencia de conducir. He's also before court on a failure to pay fine on attached tag, no valid driver's license charge. También está frente al juez por no haber pagado las multas en los cargos de poner una placa no asignada y no tener licencia de conducir. Based on his application, I find that he does qualify for the services of the public defender's office. Según su solicitud, determino que califica para los servicios de la oficina del abogado de oficio. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent him. So he has an attorney. I, I got a video from Ben yesterday. He was on uh, Univision in Vegas talking about the, the Chile case in Spanish. It, it's fantastic. It really is. Right now. Le asigno al abogado de oficio para que lo represente, así que ahora ya tiene un abogado. Okay. On the no valid driver's license, his bond is $1,000. En el cargo de no tener licencia de conducir, su fianza son $1,000. His court date is April the 8th at 1 o'clock. Su audiencia va a ser el 8 de abril a la 1 en punto. On the failure to pay fine, he's been sentenced to 20 days in the Bay County Jail, but he may purge out upon payment of $950. En los cargos en los que no pagó la multa, se le condena a 20 días en la cárcel del condado pero puede purgar esa sentencia pagando 950 dólares. Buena okay. suerte. Buena suerte. Okay. Next. All right. Great Thank, you, Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good weekend. You too. Stay tuned, man. Ms. Lips, can you for the court on a Driving license spinner revoke. I feel like I said this already. Driving license spinner revoke and false report to a law enforcement officer. Do you understand those charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. That's true. Yes, sir. You've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? I would like an attorney. I would too. But I need to I need to fill out the appropriate paperwork so I can determine if you qualify. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Deputy Criminal History on Ms. Lipscomb? No, history. Ms. Lipscomb, what brings you down here from Atlanta? Oh, I brought my kids for spring break. Okay. All right, Ms. Lipscomb. Okay. On the driving license spinner revoke, bonds 1,000. On the false 1,500. Court date's going to be April the 8th at 1 o'clock in front of Judge Grammer. Be early, not late. Don't be late to Judge Grammer. Uh, I, I like Judge Van, but if you're talking to him on your spring break, you messed up. Yeah. You can bond out. Yeah, but you got court Monday. You got to bond. Out. Step on the tee. When the light comes on, sign. What's your question? You got, you got people here that are going to take care of the bond. They're going to take care of the bond. All right, step up to the X. Wait for the light to come on. Start, start again. Mm -hmm. State your name, man. Jennifer Carey Briggs. Carey Briggs, for the court on a driving under the influence. You understand that charge, ma'am? Yes, sir. On a normal week, you might be in the game, but a 214 is not even going to touch it this week. We've got a 256 in the, in the clubhouse that's leading the way. 
but you are in second place. Congratulations. <laughs> Scary Biggs, you're, based on your application, you do not you do not want a public defender. You're gonna hire your own attorney or represent yourself. I'm gonna hire an attorney. Excellent. I know a lot about what they're gonna do on a two-one. <laughs> I'm sure they will charge you appropriately. <laughs> Deputy Criminal History. No history, sir. Scary Briggs. Mine's twenty five hundred. Today is April the eighth at one o'clock. Good luck, now. All right, step to your right to the T. Next. When the green uh, a little too honest an assessment from the judge there. Green light comes on your side. State your name, ma'am. Sure, I see. Sims, you court charged domestic violence battery as a felony because of prior convictions and resisting officer without violence. Do you understand those charges, ma'am? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right. Ms. Sims, based on your application, you do not want a public defender. Are you going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself? Um, yes, sir. I'm going to hire an attorney, but um, if I find out that I can't, is it possible that I switch over to a public attorney? Yes, you can apply later. Absolutely. And how do I do that, sir? Well, if you get to the point where you need one, you can ask the clerk in your court date to give you an application. Okay. Deputy Criminal History. She was just placed on probation for the same charge with the same victim. All right. Who wants to see Ben talking to Univision about about uh, <laughs> about Chile? I can bust in with it. It's like a couple minutes, but it is in Spanish. You guys tell me. Case number, ma'am. Twenty four, two oh nine mm. Oh my goodness. What judge got her on probation? De Las Vegas se encontraba grabando material para su canal en YouTube cuando fue arrestado por la policía metropolitana. Lo acusan de obstrucción a la justicia, Víctor. Así es. El... He speaks some serious Spanish for a gringo. I'm not kidding. It, it, it almost looks like he knows what he's talking about. Leticia, nuestro compañero Junior Pardo habló con un abogado sobre este caso y nos dice hasta dónde puede acercarse usted en una escena policial y nos explica de más adelante en el siguiente informe. Junior, te escuchamos. Yeah, you said you got a kick out of YouTube. Victor, Leticia, televidentes, buenas noches. Y les cuento que algunas veces hemos conocido, recientemente hemos conocido algunos casos donde algunas personas graban los procedimientos policiales y esto está bien, pero hay reglamentos que se deben cumplir. Nosotros hemos consultado hasta dónde se puede llegar, hasta dónde podemos nosotros grabar con un teléfono celular en las calles. Y lo que nos ha dicho nuestro abogado es lo siguiente. Vean ustedes el caso y fíjense ustedes lo que ocurrió. You can't take the Set the phone down on the I'm hood. In, I'm you're being detained. You're being. De you're, now you're going to put hands on me. No, no, wh Come over here. Why are, you why are you grabbing me? Come over here to the car. Sure. Ante la pregunta, puedo grabar un procedimiento policial? Consultamos con un abogado y esta fue su respuesta. Bueno, si usted está en un lugar donde tiene todo el derecho de estar, pues eh, está en todo su derecho de grabar a uh, lo que hacen los uh, la policía. Siempre no hay problema. Pero entendemos que hay ciertas restricciones. No puede uh, interferir con, con la policía en, en hacer sus, de, sus deberes, hacer su, su trabajo. Entonces, muchas veces uh, problemas vienen cuando el policía dice, eh, está muy cerca, si puede alejarse un poco. Entonces, eso debe, debe moverse y seguir grabando. Tocamos este caso porque recientemente la jueza de paz de Las Vegas, Ann Zimmerman, condenó al youtuber José del Castro, de 49 años, a 180 días en el centro de detención del condado Clark, por obstrucción a la justicia durante un procedimiento policial. Si sí, uno, um, bueno, interrumpe lo que está haciendo o empieza a tratar de hablar o... o o hablar con el delincuente o la persona ya con quien está uh, con la policía, pues eso ya cuando vienen problemas, porque eso ya viene a ser otro delito de obstruir, obstruir la justicia, obstruir la policía en, en, bueno, en cumplir sus, sus deberes. El hombre fue acusado de interferir en el procedimiento de un oficial del Departamento de Policía Metropolitana de Las Vegas durante una parada de tráfico al negarse a retroceder mientras estaba filmando. 
En Estados Unidos, la primera enmienda otorga el derecho a los transeúntes de grabar a la policía, pero usted no puede obstruir el trabajo de los oficiales, motivo por el cual, en caso de que usted, por querer tener un mejor ángulo de la información y querer grabarlo todo, obstaculiza el trabajo de las autoridades... Okay, I think that I think that's all the parts with Ben in it. I'm not sure what he said, but I think I think he he said that he's a big douchebag. I, I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Ben when he comes on. Uh, um, okay. Now, your financial situation may change in about 30 seconds, so you might want to apply today, okay? On the domestic violence battery, your bond's 5,000, no contact with the alleged victim, the resisting is 2,500, court date in this case is going to be April the 25th at 9 o'clock, and I'm signing the poly, case 24209. It's five thousand. It's seventy-five hundred total, but he revoked the um, probation, so he can't get out. Oh, okay. Oh. Next step to the right to the T. Next, mm -hmm. when the light comes on, sign. Step on the X. State your name. Top on your field report for the child abuse, neglect of child, child abuse, neglect of child, domestic violence battery by strangulation, domestic violence battery. Do you understand the charges? All right, ma'am, I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true? Yes. You've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney to represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? Yes, sir. I'll hire my own attorney. Excellent. What well, brings you down here from Dallas, Georgia? I brought my kids on the spring with their friends. And now my ex-husband is down here with them and has a room for all of them. He came that same night, so they were not neglected. My kids, I have zero history with anything. My kids are spoiled and entitled. And when I tell them no, this is how they try to do stuff like this. Going through a divorce, so it's like they're using, if I tell them no to stuff, then they'll call dad and they have dad come down here. Deputy, criminal history? No history. Mm. Mm. My numbers usually start with a five in child abuse cases, but as child abuse goes, I guess I could still do the five, just drop a zero. Or drop two zeros. <laughs> Contrary to my past history, I'm going to release you on pre-trial release. You report to the pre-trial release office on Tuesday next week. I am going to order no contact with the alleged victims because I think I'm required to by law. But obviously, if you get a DCF plan in place, you can have supervised visitation or whatever they allow. Court date is going to be May the 6th at 9 o'clock. Good luck to you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Step to your right to the T. State your name, ma'am. Ms. Bond, you're for the court charge of possession of meth, possession of hydrocodone, and possession of paraphernalia. Do you understand the charges? Yes, I do. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. 
based on your application, if you do qualify for the services of the public defender's office, you want to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? Um, that's fine. That's good. Thank you. Deputy Criminal History. 19, Nine. that's the meth control substance times two, paraphernalia. 20, trafficking amphetamines. Paraphernalia, smuggling contraband, controlled substance, paraphernalia, VOP. She has older history from 98 to looks like 2000. 5,000 American hydrocodone, 1,000 paraphernalia with random UAs. Court date's going to be April 25th at 9 o'clock. All right, step to your right to the T. When the light comes on, sign. Next. Red X, ma'am. State your name. It's Gray. It's Gray from the court on a violation of probation was originally possession of meth charge. And we're held out bonds. The court date is May the 15th at 9 o'clock. I have a question, Your Honor. I have, I, a, I have a court date set for May the 8th or April the 8th for my son up in Walton County, and it's a mandatory court date. Is there some way for me to be able to appear, be it Zoom or? or Talk to your case manager when you get yeah. back. Ms. Kane. It's a DCF that. case, then yes. Those, it's those a DCF zoom, case. Those, those, they, they generally zoom you in. Yeah, but it's a different county. That's why I'm telling her to talk to Ms. Kane when she gets back so that she can call your case manager and let them know where you are. Yeah. My case manager, yeah. You still need to call your case know, manager and tell them because we don't just connect that. They have to call me to connect it. Yeah, they got to set it up. Right, and I guess I'm stuck here until when? 15th, May. Yes, sir. Step to your right. Next. Red X, sir. All right. All right. State your name. Gregory Works. Mr. Works, you're for the court on a driving license spin revoke. You're also for the court on a Violation of probation for a domestic violence battery charge that was originally from just Dyer. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advice of your rights based on your application. Upon you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public to represent you. Any question about that? No, sir. All right, Mr. Works, I'm going to release you on pre trial release. Judge Dyer has already released you on pre-trial release on the VOP. I'm going to release you on pre-trial release also on the driving license and revoke. You report to the pre-trial release office after court on April 8th. Yes, sir. And your court date on the, that's, that's your court date for the misdemeanor at one o'clock. On the violation of probation, your court date is May 1st at 8.30. Good luck, sir. Step to your right to the T. When the green light comes on, sign. Red X, sir. Say your name. Michael Berentine. Mr. Berentine, you're fully court charge resisting officer without violence and a possession yes, of the on the right of way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm not, I did not do that. I was uh, in the parking lot of a place I was Right? Two sir? different questions. Two different questions. Do you understand or did you do it? I asked uh, you. What to complain day, but no, I didn't do it. Well, good. Confirm day this. Based on your application, you don't want a public defender. <laughs> so you're going to represent yourself? I didn't, I didn't even say no, sir. I didn't even know where that was listed. Okay. Well, do you want a public defender? Well, yes, sir. But I'm, I, I, I intend to work it up and fight it because I wasn't doing anything. I was having a beer out stabbed. I was waiting on a med I own a farm and stuff up Calvin County. I was just waiting on the, the medical people to come pick me up for transportation. Okay. That's fine. Yes, sir. Do you want a public defender? Yes, sir. I guess, sir. Yes, sir. And we need you to fill out the appropriate paperwork so we can determine if you qualify. Oh, okay. I didn't understand what you were asking. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Yeah, because sometimes you're running your mouth instead of listening, right? Well, I can't hear or see very well. I, I, used to be a fighter and I, I got injured in a fight. Okay. Deputy, criminal history? He was just placed on probation in Calhoun on the 15th for a assault and reinstated on another probation for another assault, Calhoun. You're still a fighter, Mr. Parentine. 
no, sir, I'm a protect myself type of guy. And the guy hit me first. And I have a witness who's actually my fiance, but yeah, he's been to case. Still. Yeah, those, those fiance witnesses are great. You have a case number, man? <laughs> Both of them are just one. Yes, sir. I'm down here on. Uh, I'm just. I just down here to get my medication for the day, and I was headed back to my home. I'm trying to cause them problems or do nothing. I, I would like to get out today because I'm stuck down here. I'm. I have okay. to get transportation because of my vision. At twenty three, one sixty six M, and twenty four. He'd like to get out 23 today. And <laughs> you don't say. I'm not here to cause no problem, but as you can see, like I said, but I do have to deal with that up there. So I, I would like to get up and have to be able to go deal with that. Now. All right, on the resisting bonds 1500, on the alcohol in public bonds 500. Court date's going to be April the 8th at one o'clock. I'm signing a warrant violation of probation in Calhoun County cases 23, 166, and 2444. What up, Ms. Barrington? Yes, step to you. What is it? What do I got to do now? Because I'm, I'm on disability, I'm disabled, I can't afford a bond and stuff like that. Okay, it doesn't really matter because you got a you got a VOP warrant out of Calhoun County. So I have to sit here until they come get me? Or take care of local charges and then wait till they come get you. Well, how do I take care of the local charges? You go to court Find Monday it. on the Friday. You got Monday court. So I gotta wait here till Monday? At least, yeah. Well, sir, I've got I got horses and animals at my house. I've got to feed. I just come down here for a medication refill and was waiting on my ride back home. Can I please get an ROR today? No they know me in Calhoun County. I've I've done everything all right have a good one what's he saying there he's saying no not not till <laughs> money okay sign with the light is for your copy next <laughs> is that where i have to pay bond if you bond you then you still go to first appearance for calhoun county to come pick you up so i wouldn't oh. go to leave yeah State your name. Charges <clears throat> before the court term possession less than 20 grams of marijuana and possession paraphernalia. You understand those charges? Okay, that be a no. I'm saying you've been given copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true, sir? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify for the service of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. So you have an attorney now. Question about that? Uh, no questions. All right. Yeah, criminal history. Um, so also Florida, ag assault, criminal mischief, hearing and concealed and resisting in 21. That's it. That's 2,500 on the pot, 1,000 on the paraphernalia. Court date's going to be April 8th at 1 o'clock. Monday. Step on the T. When the light comes on, son. Next. Uh huh. It, it just it doesn't make sense how you know how they drove up on me and, and was able to do that. I mean, yeah, it just makes sense. Yeah, you have to fight them in court at this point you because you've already been arrested. Go ahead and sign. State your name. Mr. Morrow, you pulled court charge petty theft. You understand charge? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. You indicate you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? Yes, sir. All right, Deputy Criminal History. No history. What brings you down here from Indiana, Mr. Moore? Um, spring break, sir. Where are you in school? Fisher's uh, High School. Wow. Mm. All right, man. Release on pretrial release. You need to report to the pretrial release office after court. Court date April 8th at 1 o'clock. 
Step to your right to the T. Next. Next. Right next, sir. State your name. Jordan Salati. Mr. Salati, report for the faults. Faults or misuse of 911. You understand that charge? Uh, I'm not guilty. I think it was a mistake. My car has been illegally towed by a family member trying to scam me who has scammed That's me on the shop. Well, stolen, and I wasn't there. It's not not was I understand, Your Honor. I'm sorry. I, I don't, I I don't think I don't really think you do, but okay. You were told no to call 911, but you kept calling 911, and now you're going to argue with me about calling 911. No, I'm, I'm not trying to argue, Your Honor. I just, I had to sleep on the ground and it was, it's, I just, my car was stolen. Okay. And I thought that's what you do when your car is stolen. I wasn't trying to argue. I'm sorry. I just think, I, I just think that's what you do when your car gets stolen. But I understand now very much. And please drop the charge. Based on your application, based on your application, I find that you do qualify for the services of the public defender. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you, okay? All right, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to show you about this, and my family's been harassing me for a long time, and it's been really hurting me. You know? it won't be showing me anything. It'll be showing Judge Grammer. Good luck with that. Jeff, you come on sure. You just placed them on Diversion Wednesday. Yeah, they just placed me on Diversion, so I'm trying to get it dropped. And that was disorderly. My car was stolen, for real, man. It's illegal. You know? That was the crime. Bonds 1500, court dates April 8th at 1 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Step to your right to the T. Next. <laughs> oh, somebody's telling that his diversion case is back on. Uh, how you doing, Mr. Gregory? Good. Mr. Gregory, you report charge of petty theft. You understand that charge? You say what, sir? Do you understand what you're charged with? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. It's not a MERS. It's a tactical handbag. Yeah, you want to make it look that way. Tactical handbag. Okay. MERS. I don't wear a MERS. I wear the required uniform. MERS. <laughs> I thought it was a MERS. <laughs> oh. oh. Fambro chose violence today. Every day. I know that's true. Fair point. That's why I love you. Oh, wait till after the blue man, because the morning I had. Uh oh. Not because of the clerk. I'm sorry. The clerk's office messed you up again. Uh, no. What? Uh, what are you talking? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get you in trouble. Careful, I'm in here. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, Mr. Gregory, how you doing? Good, what brings you down here from Dallas? Spring break. Is mm -hmm. that your mama earlier that got arrested? No. Okay, good. Because that was a whole problem, too. Where you go to school? South Florida. All right, so this is your senior year? Yeah. All right, kid. What do you, what do you plan on doing after school? Trying to go to college. Where? What's your plan? So what? what is your plan? Just going to college because they told you that's what you need to do next? No. I want to go for like business. Physics? <laughs> business. Oh, business. Thank God. <laughs> oh, I heard physics and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Deppy, please don't. Burst my bubble. Now I will. What's this criminal history? Georgia, 23, receiving stolen property, um, contributing to the delinqu delinquency of a minor, conspiracy to commit a felony, possession of firearms during a felony, ag oh. assault, 22, ag assault, reckless cruelty to children times two. Seriously? He don't look like all that. Oh, Mr. Gregory. I'll be honest with you. You're not going to do well in prison. You're just not built for it. So you need to get out of this game. Bonds 2,500. 
No contact with any Walmarts in Bay County. Your court date's gonna be April the 8th at one o'clock. Step to your you left. Be smart or really quick to, to be a thief. I think you're either. You know what? What? That's not, that's, that's good advice. Here's the deal. South Walton is very nice. And uh, he is, what What the judge is saying is correct. Advice, Ms. Vanbrugh. You know what? Uh, it's solid advice. How you doing, Mr. Spain? Hey. I'm doing fine, sir. How you doing? I'm well, Mr. Spain. It's been a while. Yes, sir. Uh, That's a good thing. I'm doing good. I got my address messed up somehow in this doorways. And the girl at doorways of Northwest Florida, she'll tell you that you know, I was up there trying to get all my stuff. But she, she make, she, my address is the same thing as on my, my food stamp card. I went there. And, all right. Well, they charge the trash. They, they charge with trespass and resisting. You know that, right? Yes, sir. Now, you you told them that you, did, you don't want a public defender? I mean, no. For that, I mean, it's, what are they going to, I got $26 on my account, Panama City Police Department. I got a job. Oh, okay. But you don't want a public yeah. defender on this case? I mean, can, can we just settle this right now? Or? I mean, I can't. I need, I got a oh, yeah. pass record. I just got a deal. I know. I'm just saying. Don't don't you think you need a public defender? You know, that's just going to cost me more money, ain't it? Fifty dollars. It's going to be fifty. It's it's a good fifty dollars. Come on. What, no, what's, better, to... what's better than a What's better than a, a lawyer for fifty dollars? Like two happy that's meals it. for five. Okay, I guess. Just give me a lawyer. King crap. It sounds. Okay, I'll just try. Uh, do the right thing. All you can eat king crab. Okay. All right. You're right. But but lawyer for fifty dollars is right up there. It's like getting a Glock for free because you got to pay for the trigger. That's right. So, well, I mean, I, uh, I ain't shot. I ain't gonna shoot or kill. No, right. Mr. Spinks, it's, 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 it's an there. old joke. It's an old joke. Okay. Miss Pamper okay. likes box, but I don't. Oh my god! Here we go. Ms. Fanbro likes to watch she, she, she could just put a trigger in it. You just hurry up. I mean, a thousand, you know, a thousand on the trespass, a thousand on the resisting. Mr. Spinks, your court date's going to be April the 8th at 1 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Okay. That's my smart day. But you need to apply right. for that public defender. Okay. How can I contact the lady at doorways to just have my mail address to have my to here? I mean, so see your case out. manager, Mr. Williams, when you get back. Who, Miss Williams? Mr. Williams, yes. And I don't. Mm -hmm. okay. Step over there and sign where that green light is. Sign. Right next to. State your name. Cordell Allen. Mr. Allen, you're the court charge driving under the influence. You understand that charge, sir? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. Based on your yeah, application, unless you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? Yes, sir. Deputy yeah, Criminal Minister. 20, persistent cocaine, reckless paraphernalia. 19, you have a DUI in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Mr. Allen Bond said at 1500, court date's going to be April the 8th. At one o'clock, no alcohol while you're on release, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Step on the T. When the green light comes on, sign. Red, state your name, sir. Sure. 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 Court charge disorderly conduct. You understand that charge, sir? I think you've been talking to the paperwork and advise of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Richmond, you've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney or represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? Uh, I'd rather hire an attorney. Okay. Deputy Criminal History? Yeah, Criminal History. Mr. Richmond, what brings you down here to Bay County? Um, I was on vacation, sir. All right. 
Bonds fifteen hundred. Court date's going to be April eighth at one o'clock. Good luck. Step to your right to the T. When the green light comes on, sign. Next. Red X, sir. Yes, sir. State your name. Yes, sir. Joshua Wilson. Mr. Wilson, full court charge of aggravated stock, cyber stalking, and contempt of the protection order. Do you understand the charges? Yes, sir. I think you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. You make too much money to qualify for a public defender, but the law recognizes your financial situation may change, in which case you can reapply. Any question about that? Uh, uh, no, sir. Yes, you come history? Just placed on probation in Washington County for the same charge, same victim. Got a case number? 23391 CF. All right, Mr. Wilson, on the aggravated cyber stalking bonds, 50,000, the contempt of violation bonds, 50,000. Court date's going to be April the 25th at nine o'clock. No contact directly, indirectly, or through a third party alleged victim. And I'm signing a warrant for violation of probation in Washington County case number 23391. Good luck, sir. Step to your right to the T. Red X, sir. State your name. Mr. Frazier. Mr. Frazier, full court charge carrying concealed unlicensed firearm and a petty theft. Do you understand those charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Yes, sir. Uh, I got it. It's a non serialized Glock pistol clone. They're print clones now, Miss Fambro. They don't even, it's that's not new. I know, right? All right. So, Mr. Frazier, that pistol without a lock, without a serial number is a felony, allegedly. You also got to pay theft. You understand those charges? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. You've indicated you're going to hire your own attorney. Is that how you're going to proceed? Uh, no, sir. I'd like to call the defender. All right. We fill out the appropriate paperwork to determine if you qualify. Deputy, criminal history? No history. Ooh. What brings you down here from Marietta? Uh, spring break. Where you go to school? Uh, Marietta High School. Oh, it poses. Bond set 10,000 unserialized firearm, 1,000 petty theft. Court date's going to be May 6th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, sir. Step to your right to the T. Next. It sure is. Right next, sir. Yeah, we got it. Here. Okay. State your name, sir. Mr. Brown, you're fully court charge possession of meth, possession of paraphernalia, driving under the influence charge. Can I understand the charge, sir? Uh, yes, sir, I understand the charges. I understand you've been given copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? Uh, yes, well, uh, I got the paperwork right here. Based on your application, as long as you do qualify, I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representative. So you have an attorney now. Any question about that? Uh, repeat that, sir. He gave you a public defender. All right. Deputy criminal history? Just the less than 20 back in 02. Oh. I was in trouble like 10, 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I was just trying to get home. I just gave a friend a ride home. and Don't talk about your case home. today, please. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You're fine. Here's what I want to do. Our man. Each one was called free trial release. You need to report to the free trial release office before Tuesday, which is April the 9th at nine o'clock. Okay. All right. You're also going to submit to random UAs, not possess alcohol or drugs while you're on probation or release. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Your yes, court is going to be May 20th at nine o'clock. Okay. Good luck. Hey. Step to the right to the T. When the gray light comes off, sign for it. State your name, sir. Pasco. Mr. Pasco, you're fully court on a violation of probation for what was originally a criminal mischief charge. 
You've been ordered held out bond. Your court date is May 1st at 9, 8, I'm sorry, 8.30, 8.30. Start getting into a groove with those nine o'clock. You can step behind him. Next. First. Say your name. Barnes. Barnes, before the court charge of possession of violation of probation was originally a possession of paraffin of cocaine. Yeah. For the last one, I am butchering this one. Let's start over. How you doing, Mr. Barnes? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm better than I deserve, I promise. Mr. Barnes, you're for the court on a possession of cocaine charge that you violated your probation allegedly on. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify for the service of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representative so you have an attorney. Questions there? No questions? Oh, no, no questions, sir. All right. You've been ordered held without bond. Your court is going to be May 20th at 9 o'clock. Yes, sir. Good luck, sir. Huh? Step behind him at the time. So long as she is. Miss Pambro, how you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't even you couldn't even give me fits about being late. Your cough. It was fake. Uh not like I was doing something down the hall. Oh, is this Mr. Hager? Sir. Mr. Hager, you're for the court for criminal mischief. You understand the charge, sir? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. That's true. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify for the services of the public defender's office. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representative. Any question about that? Yes, sir. Deputy yeah, criminal history? They got him on bond in two misdemeanors. Mm -hmm. Resisting in a disorderly. Uh, 23 resisting. He had a couple of sentences in 22 and 23. 22 fleeing a loot resisting. Prior to that, nothing since 14. You got case numbers, man? Um, they're both 24. 1094, MO, 1095, Mom. All right, Mr. Hager. On the criminal mischief, bond set at 2,500. No contact with the alleged victim. And I'm revoking the release of 24, 1094, and 1095. Good luck, sir. Step to your right to the T. When the light comes on, son. That's the wrong one. Step back out real quick. Torres, a lot there. It ain't who I got, 30? 30, really. 30, we want you to Oh, mine is different, see? Okay. You want her? Yeah, that's fine. Nope. It's Bambrose. What? You watch who do you have for, I do. Who do you have for 30? Because my my numbers are mixed up. So who do you have for 30? All right. Did you, did you see where a certain institution from north of here made it to the final four? Who do you mean? LSU? No. Sorry. You're fine. Just stay right here. Come here, Rudd. I know what I'll be doing tonight. <laughs> Mr. Rudd, you want to talk to the federal man? Do you understand the charges? Sorry, I can't hear you. You understand what you're charged with? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and it's positive of your rights. Is that true, ma'am? You got a copy of your paperwork? Yes, Were you advised of your rights today? Yes, sir. All right. Based on your application, I'm going to do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender representative. Any question about that? No, sir. Deputy, criminal history? 23 somewhere else in Florida is a possession of cocaine, 20 smuggling contraband times two controlled substance paraphernalia, 19 trafficking controlled substance FTA, 18 possession of methoqualine, fleeing the loot, tampering evidence, uh, possession of cocaine, marijuana, two counts of ag bat. And when D on DOC site was down, so I don't know what's going on with the possession of cocaine. 
5,000 of meth, 1,000 of paraphernalia, random UAs. Court date is going to be April 25th at 9 o'clock. I step to you right, ma'am. Ms. Torres, then turn around on the X, face the TV. State your name. I'm Andrea Torres. Ms. Torres, you court on a violation of probation and community control in front of Judge Register for what was originally a felony battery charge. You understand that, ma'am? Yes, sir. Judge Register and infinite wisdom is where you held without bond. Your court date is going to be May the 15th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, ma'am. As usual, I can't fix them, but I can make them worse. Right. Ma'am, step to your right, Ms. Rudd. Torres, step on the X. I mean, T. Oh, see, it's confusing. State your name, ma'am. Ashley Sanders. Ms. Sanders, for the court, charge of possession of fentanyl, possession of paraphernalia. Do you understand the charges? It was possession of what, sir? I'm sorry. Fentanyl. Um. See, this is this is where it's come comes confusing. I got I got arrested two weeks ago, and um, Officer Cummings had found a straw and a foil and said it was uh, paraphernalia. And um, this was two weeks ago, and I had a broken phone and a temporary phone number. He. Um, I never said nor never not said anything about working for him. Yes, let's hear more about Officer Cummings. And that's basically what he was wanting along those lines. And so um, I got woke up this morning to beat on so the door. The charges. I get it. Yeah. It's a standard. So I didn't have no way to get a hold of him or any contact. Okay. Or, so All I right. get beat on the door this morning. Based on the application, you do qualify for a public defender. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender residential. So you have an attorney now. Deputy Criminal Minister. Uh, 21 false ID paraphernalia. False ID. Um, 20 controlled substance paraphernalia. 19, well, locally, 20. You also had a petty theft, heroin with intent paraphernalia. P's through 21. 15 FTA on a grand theft. 14. Violation of drug court, grand theft, fraudulent use of a credit card. I'm done. I said 1,000 fentanyl, 1,000 paraphernalia, random UAs. Court date's going to be May the 6th at 9 o'clock. Good luck, ma'am. When you bond out. 11. 11 Between you and the bonds, there's 11,000 total. Step on, 11, step on the T, you're about to get copies of it. When the green light comes on, sign in. Red X, ma'am. State your name. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, you're for a trespass. You understand that charge? <laughs> I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. That's true? Yes, sir. All right, ma'am. Based on your application, you make too much money to qualify for a public defender, but the law recognizes your financial may change in which case you can reapply later. But hiring your own attorney to represent yourself. Any questions about these options? But I'm, I can, what were you saying? It was breaking up. He's saying that you make too money, much money for the public defender, but if the law recognizes it changes, if something happens, then you can't afford to reapply. I nominate Ben Bateman for this no, defendant. I don't think so. I'm just... <laughs> Man, I'm just barely waking up here. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. You, you guys don't know this. I, I got a message from Ben. He he, he busted me for, for playing his video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, what a weird... You, you look like you really speak Spanish there. Yeah, you know, a couple of years of high school Spanish paid off, huh? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I don't know. I, de I detected an Argentinian accent there, my man. Well, you know. <laughs> do, do you ever but, do you ever catch catch him uh, talking talking behind your back in front of you? Because no, they're, they're I, I have I want to one day, but no, I haven't. They, they, they got to be operating under the assumption this gringo doesn't speak Spanish. Come on, yeah, no, I do get a bunch, yeah, a couple of people, <laughs> but are surprised when I can. Speak but yes, they're. Uh, <laughs> I've never caught anyone talking about me. No. Oh, well, that's very well cool. of humanity, I guess. I don't know. All right. All right. Let's see what we get 
24, possession of ecstasy with intent, marijuana with intent, meth with intent, use Aww. of a two-way. 22, DV bat, DWLSR, and some juvenile, um, 15, ag assault, sample bat. What brings you down here to Bay County, ma'am? Um, to be honest, sir, I was there for my girlfriend. We had a surprise for her for her birthday. And it was just the hotel. They were telling me I did, we had a, a verbal altercation inside. And I did leave at the first, but then I was outside with no charger. And I came back asked for a charger because they threw it over the desk. And we told the police again. And, yeah. But I promise I will not come back again. I don't even live out here. I stay in Georgia before I was uh, away. Get you back Wednesday for your court date. 2500, 8 30. Step to your right to the T. When the green light comes on, sound for your copy of it. Number two, bonded out. State your name, ma'am. Ms. Dean, you're free court to resisting officer without violence. You understand the charge? You understand what you're charged with? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advice of your rights. Is that true, ma'am? Yes, sir. Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender. So you have an attorney now. Any question about that? No, sir. Deputy Criminal History, Ms. Dean? Yeah, they have on probation out of Marion for a controlled substance and an introduction of contraband. Prior to that, nothing locally since 12, and that was a grand theft and a burglary. Uh, I'll leave. The judge has got her on probation. Bond set twenty five hundred. Well, contact, well, she's not going to want to have contact with the officer. Court date's going to be April third at eight thirty. Good luck, ma'am. All right, step to your right to the T. When the light comes on, sign. Next. Right. Speaking of which, I I hear that Vegas is going to get a little crazier than usual this weekend. That's the word on the street. That's the I, don't know. Street. I don't know. It's not even NASCAR weekend. That was a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I don't even know. There you go. Face the TV and state your name. Hello, Screen for the court, charge of domestic violence battery. You understand the charge, ma'am? Um, yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advised of your rights. Is that true? You got a copy of your paperwork? Oh, yes, sir. Were you advised of your rights today? Stuff in your yes, hand. Sir. You've indicated you're going to hire your owner to represent yourself. Is that how you're going to proceed? Uh, I don't want to. I want to pull it. Yes, sir. Well, if you want to pull the defender, we need you to fill out the appropriate paperwork so we can determine if you qualify. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, criminal history, Miss Green. Uh, Alabama, twenty-three, a domestic, twenty-one, a DUI. Uh, nineteen, a domestic and a DUI, possession of controlled substance, marijuana, eighteen, FTA, goes back to eleven. How, how does this crew compare with your roster clients, Ben? They're right up there. Right, just right, yeah. right. The same, kind of the same cloth. Yeah, except for the no, I don't have it. I don't have any priors, and then yeah, oh yeah, got a ticket, <laughs> a DUI, and a possession control substance, and a except you for those. anything. Oh yeah, I, just, I didn't remember those. Like, you don't. Re <laughs> You're killing me in Alabama. <laughs> I said 5,000, no contact directly, indirectly, through a third party alleged victim. Court date's April 3rd at 8 30. Step to your right to the T. Well, I have when no the doubt. light comes on, sign. Th that, that could come in handy. Red X, ma'am, state your name. Ms. <laughs> Shaddix, for the court charge of petty theft. You understand the charge? Yes, sir. I understand you've been giving copies of paperwork and advising your rights. Is that true? Based on your application, I find that you do qualify. I'm going to go ahead and appoint the public defender to represent you. Any question about that? Yes, sir. <laughs> he sure did. Nice is neat. Central Pain Control Substance Paraphernalia, DWLSR, FTA, resisting with tamper with evidence, uh. resisting. <laughs> Barbiturate possession with intent, cocaine distribution, paraphernalia, tampered evidence, fully in a loop, cocaine possession, couple of FTA issues going through that. Prior to that, nothing since 12. All right, Michelle, based on your prior history, they've got you charged with felony, petty theft. Your court date is going to be May 16th at 9 o'clock. Your bond's 5000 No contact with any Dollar Generals in the Bay County area. 
Jackson to your right to the T. Next, Red X Man, face the TV, state your name. Harris, before the court service, violation for what was originally a criminal mischief felony. You understand that, ma'am? Yes, sir. All right, ma'am. Just register in his infinite wisdom is or you'll be held without bond. Your court date's going to be May the 15th at 9 o'clock. Good luck. I step to your right. Like the how the green like light comes on, son. Behind the door Next. there, whatever. Like, come through the door to make an appearance. Yeah. Fred X, man. Showbiz element to this. <laughs> Ms. Atkinson, you for the court charge of contributing the dependency of a child. Do you understand that charge? Violation, I'm sorry, violation of probation for what was originally contributing to the dependency of a child. Do you understand that charge, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Judge Grammer has set your bond at $2,500. Your court date is going to be April the 17th at 1.30 in front of Judge Grammer. Good luck, ma'am. Yes, right. Your Honor. Step to your right to the T. When the light comes on, son. Okay, Atkins. All right, I've had enough. We, we, we've yeah. been going forever. I did another whole call. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I just, I know. What time is it? It's like nine o'clock. I just, just got just up. Get up. I did hair and makeup yeah, about, yeah, about a half hour ago. How's, how's the house? Yeah. You, got, you got things under control out there? Um, Not totally under control, but yeah, you know, it's right. coming along. That's why I'm All outside right. the backyard here. Got well, painters I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to check it out. Got the painters coming. Well, there's the backyard. You can see the pool. Fantastic. And barbecue in the pool. Oh, yeah. Oh, we I can trash that. <laughs> I have no doubt. <laughs> Not enough chlorine for you. And, uh... we, we've, we've got some other <laughs> diabolical plans that, sh that uh, shan't be disclosed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's just a weird, uh, intersection when they, they called me on that chili thing. I was like, wait, and they were asking me about, you know, what does the public have a right to, to film or whatever? I'm like, is it about the, you know, I asked them, I was like, it's about the cast, you know, the Castro. And they're like, yeah. Do you know, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with the case. I'm familiar with the case. <laughs> I'm just surprised. Like, why are you asking now? Because it was, what was that? A couple of weeks ago now. Yeah. So where, I don't were know. They, where were they interviewing you? It was weird. You're like standing in the street. Oh yeah, it was just the street out from my house. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, we need an interview. You know, I, I, you can't, the um, well, he talked to the police, and the police confirmed, like, yeah, you know, you public can film, you just can't interfere with the police. You're right. It's like, but we don't have a spokesman available for you, and so. Uh, I've done, uh, I actually just recently I did a couple things for this reporter and, uh, he's a funny guy. He's from Columbia. He's, he's a good guy anyway. And he's like, I was like, I'm at home right now. He's like, welcome to your house. I was like, do you mind? I'm like, no, come on over. So he came over. It's just up street right in front of my house. Well, you had to put pants on, but other than that, wasn't, so, it wasn't so bad. Well, you don't, yeah, I had sweatpants on. Yeah. You <laughs> I, I put the... <laughs> The shirt and tie and jacket on there just for the interview because I was I was yeah I was at home unpacking doing house stuff here right, and right, right. organizing You're right. and so I'm like all right I better look like a, you know I, look the part I mean I can't understand Spanish but I, I could understand you saying you know he's interfering you you were saying in yeah. Spanish he's interfering with them working correct you can't and interfere you're, you're with explaining them. that I I, right. I I picked up that much and i heard my favorite intonsis which is i don't know why i just like that from years of hearing it in my conference room <laughs> yes Good i get a lot of ambience and intonsis oh yes. yeah yeah but there I, you go I, you're well I on handle all that for me yeah <laughs> you lucky dog you got someone that can handle it for you so yes Chili crossed the line there. Yeah, I believe it. That's that's awesome. So I, th you're going to be their go-to from now on, though. I, I seem to be. I've got. I did a couple last week, actually, a couple of appearances. Ah, um, you're known. Yeah, you're an attorney, and you speak Spanish fluently. Well, here, I'll send you my other clips then. I mean, you're not the only <laughs> Spanish-speaking attorney in Las Vegas. I no, I, I'm certain of that. No, but but you're definitely going to be a go-to guy for that for that sort of stuff. 
I hope so. No, it's fun. It's always fun. With with your high profile being on Law Talk with Mike and all. Yes. Well, I'm sure you probably get. I don't know. I'm sure you probably get better ratings. More people watch your videos than watch the the local Spanish language news here. I bet. I don't know, man. I know Viva Las Vegas is coming back. I just don't know when. We'll see. No decision has been made. All right. All right. Well, thank you Bye. for coming by. I was just doing a more. I was just doing a morning stream. I ran out of steam on it. It was good. Van was good, but that 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 second call was just a little a little drier. The f- the first one was hilarious. Oh yeah. All right. So thanks right. for coming out. Thanks yeah, for, thanks for getting having up. Me. Happy to provide content for you. <laughs> Try and get the uh, I, English language news so we can audience. I did that in the middle. I'm like, I've got a clip of Ben, but it's it's in Spanish. You know, most of you guys don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you know, you got your Marias and Irises. I mean, I we got some Spanish speakers in the in the crowd, don't there you? You, you know. Yeah. But Didn't get by. It was it was overwhelming in chat. They wanted to see they wanted to see Ben laying down the law to Univision. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just remember, Chili crossed the line. Chili crossed the line. He, he All right. To the, yeah. Person talked to the cop. Just, anyway. All right, I'm going to close this one down. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. I'll see you all soon.